damn, the big three rocked it this week. All right, so first of all, let's talk about the dancing girl, Violet, Sanji, and Zoro. Now, Sanji and Zoro got separated, and Sanji is, in, you know, introduced to this Violet girl. She's like, I'm on the run. I stabbed somebody. And first of all, I like her personality, but are my eyes broken? I feel like, like, maybe my eyes are fucked up or something, because she looks identical, except that she has bigger lips to Robin. So, like, are my eyes broken, or, <laughs> I don't know, maybe Oda just did it purposely or something, but she looks identical to Robin, I'm just saying, but I'm not mad, because she got curbs, she got a body, Oda knew what he was drawing when he did it, but she looks like Robin a little bit, or quite a bit, actually, not a little bit, she looks, like, dead on, like, Robin, so I was confused at first when I was reading, I was like, wait a minute, why is Robin dancing, but as you, you know, get out of everything, so... I was looking at it, and it seems as though this might be a setup, because it just coincidentally, she she shows up, and it's like, it gives him a hug and everything, and then him and Zoro get separated. I don't know what's this about, if this is set up, uh, set up from Doflamingo, but it seems that there's something going on here, because it just se seems a little coincidental. Now, I hope Oda don't troll Sanji, and I hope he actually gets to get some of uh, this particular arc. <laughs> I hope that Violet girl actually, because she seems like he, he might be able to pull it off if she's not a setup. Because I feel like this is a trap. I feel like it's a trap. But we'll have to uh, wait and see with that one. But I, I don't know. It, it just was like a weird thing. First of all, she looks like Robin. Then it feels like some sort of coincidence that, you know, him and Zoro get split up and then he stays with him. Because Zoro has more common sense than Sanji. Zoro's not going to be blood dripping down his face. He's going to realize like, okay, you know, you know, we're not helping her. So it seemed a little suspicious there. Now... It felt as though Oda was taking them them jabs at Fairy Tail, and maybe I'm just looking too much into it. But when uh, Luffy had his name, you know, he was about to say his name, and it came out Lucy. That shit had me roll, and I'm not gonna lie. I was like, Oda, are you taking subtle shots? Are you taking subtle shots at another manga from another magazine? I don't know, man. That shit was freaking hilarious. Though Luffy walking with a sign that says Lucy and back at him, <laughs> honestly, like. One Piece comedy gold right there. And I, I noted something as well. Luffy loves his Nakama enough to tell Frankie, like, off the bat, hey, you you know, you want to eat my brother's fruit? So I could clearly see him giving it to anybody of the Straw Hats that wants it. Because he, he tells Frankie. And I also wanted to know it as well. I found it interesting to see Frankie and Luffy hanging out. We, it's, It feels like, maybe I'm just not remembering, but it feels like it's been forever, if ever, that just the two of them, we're hanging out, and I think that that's a nice little, uh, a nice little uh, thing for Oda to do. It's like, okay, Frankie kind of got cut off with screen time in the last arc, so I'm gonna put him with Luffy, and and I like it. I feel as though it feels a little bit different. We haven't had, in my opinion, anyway, uh, to my knowledge, uh, a Luffy and Frankie hanging out scene in a bit, and I was interested in Luffy's reaction to the whole Ace is Devil Fruit because it was up in the air. We know how Luffy is. He can be on one hand like. You know, um, whatever, you know, I'm not going to go chasing after this. I love my brother, but that fruit don't make him. But at the same time, it was it was also like, you know, that's my brother's shit. I want my brother's stuff now. And he went with that route. And I, I found that, like, pretty nice. And, you know, where the fruit is going to go, I don't know. For all we know, Luffy can get it and step on it and squash it. And uh, it, But the thing about it is, it'll be reborn. So it has to go into somebody that he trusts and somebody that, will ultimately keep it safe and everything, and they won't die again for, you know, until the remainder of the series. So I'm, I'm interested to see who is going to get that fruit now, uh, if Luffy even gets it. And, okay, so Luffy going in there and stepping in that tournament, all these dudes trying to press him, I love that. I felt like Luffy went in there like, are you, are you serious? Are you serious right now? And when he knocked dude down, when he took dude out, I was just like, this is why Monkey D. Luffy is an amazing character. This is why he is a boss. This is why when Luffy steps on the scene, he might be goofy. You can even classify him sometimes as an idiot because of some of the stuff that he says. But at the end of the day, Monkey D. Luffy is a boss. Straight up. Straight up. Like, this is my dude. I love it when Luffy does shit like this. And the way he ended it, like, yo, he takes dude out and then he just smiles. Like, how can you not love this guy, man? Oh, man. So, that ending to the chapter, awesome. So, we got a couple things we're looking at here. First of all, let's rewind back. First of all, is it a setup with this dancing violet girl that looks identical to Robin? Is this a setup that her and maybe the person that stole Zoro's sword, is this a setup? 
is Sanji gonna get some <laughs> to this arc with this Violet Girl? Is he gonna actually pull it off? I hope so, man. Don't don't troll Sanji, Oda. Oda, don't troll Sanji. Let let him have. You know, come on. <laughs> and also, just the overall shit with Luffy at the end, where the the whole thing with the devil fruit. I, I'm I'm curious to see if he does get the fruit. Who is he gonna offer it to? Because he already offered it to Frankie. So I'd imagine, it, like, he, he feels like his Nakama's his family. So if Frankie wants it, he can have it. If Usopp wants well, I don't know. He probably will play Usopp because I imagine Luffy being like, get out of here, you're weak or something. Uh, you know, just teasing him or whatever, not, like, trying to be cruel. So I, I'm curious to see who would take it. I don't even think Usopp would want it anyway because he'd be too scared. My body's going to turn into, like, a Logia, <laughs> you know. So I don't even think Usopp would be brave enough to take that because, you know, he, he, he got balls now. But at the same time, he's, like, a little bit still, you know, he's Usopp. He's Usopp. So I'm just, like, now it's getting more like, okay, you know, what's going to happen? Also, this whole tournament thing. I thought it was going to be the entire Straw Hat crew, but it's seemingly just going to be Lucy. I mean, Luffy. Fairy tale shots. <laughs> Overall, I, I enjoyed this chapter. I felt like it was paced nicely. It was nice to see Luffy and Frankie for a change. And this whole Violet Girl thing, I'm just curious to see, is this a setup? What's going to happen? Who did she stab? Is it, like, somebody important, possibly, if she even stabbed anybody again? Because it could be a setup. And just, it, it was a it was a pretty awesome chapter, very well-paced, I felt. And it, it, leading up into this little tournament, I guess it's just going to be Luffy by himself, which that's all you really need at the end of the day. He's Monkey D. Luffy, son of Dragon, grandson of Garp. Let's go, people. Four out of five for this chapter. Definitely got to give it that. It was it was awesome. Paced nicely and everything. Let me know what you think. Is it a setup? Thoughts on Luffy taking out that big dude? I mean, how much more boss? Like, honestly, how can you not love Luffy? Yeah. Uh, but that's all after this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for Monkey D. Luffy, the boss. And as always, people, have an awesome day.